Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Playthroughs. Today we've got uh, the old legendary granddaddy of beat em ups, Double Dragon. The one, one that started it all. In yeah. the arcade. Ultimate, uh, ultimate side scrolling beat em up series. Absolutely. Still one of the best side scrolling beat em ups now, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. But, um, this one's been a long time in the making. We were actually going to do a full on podcast for the Double Dragon games. Probably one, two, and three in the arcade. But um, just. The fact that, due to the fact that we want to do some more playthroughs at the moment, we're going to play through them individually, and then maybe one day in the future we might do a, a big, you know, couple-hour podcast covering all of the uh, Double Dragon games. And it's an extensive series covering all oh, different absolutely. platforms, wouldn't it? You've got films, comics, um, uh, LCD games. There's just so much to talk <laughs> yeah, about, isn't it? It, it, it it's, is. Uh, uh, it's, it's uh, unbelievable. It's, Such a legacy. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, it's uh, it, it's enormous. You know, the series is uh, going back nineteen eighty seven. With roots even further back than that, which we'll probably uh, discuss on the fly. Let's chuck some credits in there. Let's let's do it. Let's, let's do it, bro. Oh, look, we're both starting at the same time. We're going to come out of the garage together, Glenn. Yes. This time. Yes. Well, we did a dress rehearsal earlier and it didn't work. <laughs> we're going for it now, though. We're not going to that, though. Oh, take oh. it. Up. For any watching that, I'm still nursing me a broken wrist, so, so if he's I crap, will cock up like... sometimes, so please be gentle. Um, it is a little bit different, this control. Of course, that's my excuse anyway, so uh, whether you believe it or not. He's playing on an arcade stick because he can't play on a joypad, because he can't yeah. actually grip a joypad. Still kind of grip this stick, I'm just sort of like pushing it a bit. <laughs> it works. You're doing all right. But anyway, Double Dragon, uh, 1987, the year that Double Dragon released. Yeah. Uh, very deep roots. Uh, actually, anybody who doesn't know, but should, a uh, game is clearly inspired by films like The Warriors from the 70s and that. End of the Dragon. Uh, the design, Bruce yeah. Uh, uh, any, a lot of Bruce Lee uh, martial arts films. Um, it's, although it's not a sequel, it is uh, a further development of a classic called Niketsu Kunio Kuhakun, is that right? Am I saying that right? Uh, I've got it, got it I, know it's re I know it's Renegade, we know it as Renegade here in, uh, in Europe and in, in America. Um, and the game is playability wise identical, but it's a complete reskin of, uh, of uh, it's a complete reskin version of that Japanese game. So uh, it's unlike Double Dragon, which clearly, you know, uh, looks, uh, the Japanese American versions look the same. But, uh, both series went on to have long, uh, you know, long histories with the with the Niketsu series. Also, uh, having pretty much met as many, if not more, games than Double Dragon. Now, I think more diverse games in some ways as well. Uh, they've had a recent remake as well, made so yeah, uh, including also there was a couple of unofficial sequels made for the uh, for the eight bit computers back in the late eighties, and one for the NES as well in Target Renegade. Renegade yeah, Three really. came out as well. It was absolutely abysmal. I, I, I really like the, uh, the Commodore 64 version of Target Renegade, that was fantastic. Yeah, the artwork and the music, that was excellent. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the game itself wasn't much The best it. version of that, of, that, of that series is actually the Amstrad, in my, in my opinion. It takes what's good about the Spectrum version and uh, speeds it up a bit and gives it more colour, you know. So uh, if anyone ever wants to play a really good version of Target Renegade, give the Amstrad version a world a world win here. I don't think I've, uh, I don't think really I've well tried done the Amstrad version. one. I haven't really had a lot to do with like Amstrad, I'm honest. Let's well, say it was always going to be more obscure oh. as well, wasn't it? The ball boss just been beaten there, first boss. I was going to try and get the barrel in with us, but uh, if anybody doesn't know, you can actually bring weapons from other levels into the next level. Yeah, um, sometimes to change colours like... also. To, it's more of a, I think it's more of a bug than a truly, uh, and it's, it's not meant to happen really, but uh, it, uh, it's it's good to be able to do it though still. It's fun. It is, it is. Come on. Step on a down, mate. Oh, that was close. We blew it blew a two off. Ah, we'll take the box of us. They're coming, Andy. Yeah, so Double Dragon was ported to what? Everything. That still it is. <laughs> probably probably uh, count the amount of. Uh, Formats on three on two hands now, like well on three on hands. Three on all two it's, hands. Uh, tours, I as I said, you've got eight bit computer versions for uh, all the popular home micros of the time. Uh, there's the NES version's one of the most well known versions because it's 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 one beast, um, a bit like its sequel, Double Dragon Two was as well. Um, it also has a versus mode, but it's a single player game, which is the one thing that uh, 
caused a few problems for people. I mean, people were expecting yeah. two big game, so they did sort of rectify a little bit by putting a pretty cool uh, versus mode in there. Um, the Game Boy version, which takes the best elements of the NES game and uh, puts but a two-player mode back in as well. I prefer the Game Boy version to yeah, the NES version because they start with all the moves. Start with all the moves. Yeah. Well, the NES version, although it's interesting to have to work for them like an RPG, it still does just detract a little bit from the I overall game. Just There's uh, versions for the Atari 2600 as well, which is shite, uh, and the 7800, yeah. which is a bit better. To not as good as the NES. It's, and, uh, it's, it's, it's more system Martin versions, Valley, but yeah. uh, that version is quite uh, quite close to the arcade, but it still does have some uh, some of its own material as well. But if you wanted back in the day a version that was as close to the arcade as possible, that's the best you had. Although I do have a little bit of a soft spot for the uh, Amiga version, it just would have been so crazy and janky, basically. But it is, ah, but for the yeah, wrong reasons. All right, yeah, the for the wrong reasons. It's, it's, it plays nothing like this, and it looks nothing like this. Uh, and sounds nothing like this to be fair as well. Crap. Uh, Commodore was uh, probably one of the most broken games of its time, I think. There is an alternative for C64 version on the cartridge. Yeah, the cartridge. Still version, not yeah. very good, um, uh, but it, it's an improvement. It's got music in the game this time, and it's a pretty good effort as well. And you don't just have to hit someone once and then run away and hit them. No, yeah. you, you get to actually hit people now properly, but uh, there's only about three enemies in the game. Most of them are like. Williams are Roper and then you get a few Bobos here and there, but the final boss is a Bobo. It's like, you know, at least I don't, the, don't think I've been to the end of it, if I'm honest. No, I probably, I not many have, I think, but at least the, uh, the Melbourne House version actually has Willie at the end, even though his gun doesn't work. I remember that. Which I thought was a bit crap. Since he does Wait, have was it. it the, was it the Amiga version where he's got the gun, but he fire, it looks like it fires an arrow out of it. It it's, makes like a... You think in the Commodore like Double Dragon 2, where it looks... It makes a funny noise, it just doesn't sound right at all, it's like a rat tap tap uh, Yeah, that, it, but it works, it sh and it hurts if it hits you, so... It makes a noise, you know, like, like Bugs Bunny's um, eating his carrot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, that was Dove Dive 2 on the Commodore was brilliant, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, uh, very, again, there was nothing like the arcade, but it had its own magic, so, uh, yeah, for a lot of time for that version, right? Like, that, that had an element of, like, hit, hit and run away as well, but, Yeah, just, but, to, there's a strategy, just, though, yeah, depending yeah. on who hit... Who got hit last? You could. Uh, oh, it's quite a second now. Whoever got hit last was the one that the enemies would follow. So yeah. you could sort of share. So if you had any energy left, your brother could take the pops for you, take the hits for you, and the, uh, he would have to deal with them. Which I thought was pretty, uh, pretty cool, like, because that wouldn't work in the first game. Or any other version that I know of, to be honest. Like, the Commodore version, good. Really enjoyed. Graphically, not great, but uh, Uncle Art did the music. Who yeah. done a load of Commodore games at the time. Very, very uh, familiar sound. Very familiar sound. So you'd hear that and you go, ah. I mean, not, not as famous as the, uh, like uh, David Whittaker and Jonathan Dunn and Martin Galway and that, but uh, still pretty well known, you know? What do you reckon the um, best home version of Dull Round 1 was? And it's got to be the NES, right? Well, or, or Game Boy, well, if you talk. I have, I have this one of the mainstream version before going further, that was the Mega Drive game, which is, plays a lot more like the arcade, but it's not. Beautiful. It does, it's extremely easy. It's um, Because it's five years later, I would have expected a bit more to it, and there's not, it's, it's very bare bones. So, yeah. as a conversion, it's probably the very best conversion, contemporary conversion, like of the time, really. I mean, still five years later, but from roughly the time, as opposed to a, a game that would have come out in this day and age. But the only thing that was wrong with the Mega Drive version, in my opinion, was the uppercut. You couldn't finish your combo without waiting oh, wait, wait wait like a second, you have to wait a second yeah, yeah. before you can connect. Uh, I remember that, yeah. Otherwise, it just it didn't have enough frames. Um, but I'll probably say, yeah, the NES, the NES version might be the best. But, but if we want to cheat a little bit, which you probably shouldn't, but I feel like it anyway, I would say it's uh, Double Dragon Advance. Even though it's not uh, truly a conversion, yeah. but it's too, it's just so... Is it is is pretty much the ultimate That's version nice. of Double Dragon, uh, without you know being too modern. I mean, even games like Double Dragon Neon are so very different from the original source. Where Double Dragon Advance keeps so much material from the original game. You know, yeah. it's a great game, like fantastic game. Super Double Dragon again is its own thing, but with, with very little actually original. Uh, like link to the original first Double Dragon, you know. But Advance obviously pretty much copies most of the game, so it's a it's a classic. I like, love that game. I mean, they, they took the original enemy sprite, like style and sprites, and just beat them up and made them look way cooler. So give them extra moves, and that did exactly what 
what you'd expect from a, a true update like so I thought as a remake it's just <laughs> perfect like that's something you rarely see. I know. <laughs> Oh, it's done, I'm still not going to stay. Oh, it's going to you like how they... Oh, there, I fell in the... Oh! <laughs> fell in the hole. It's alright. We all know you've only got one hand at the moment. I can't judge. I feel like we're just bullying him here by elbowing him. Yeah, it's better. Well, is this a Bobo or is it Boro? We're always a bit unsure about the names of. Uh... Oh, 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 that's on camera, mate. That's on camera. <laughs> I got confused. I might have to uh, edit that out. <laughs> no, no, no. Raw, raw and real. That's what we want it. Raw and wriggling. I can't believe it just fell in, fell in the water. Like we, honestly, we do try and play better if we're playing for money or uh, if we were trying to uh, have a speed run. I mean, generally, if it was a speed run, I'd probably just be L1, I think. Yeah, pretty much. But that's the only thing, it's, it's the only complaint I really have about DD1 in Arcade, which is why I tend to pick two slightly over one, because that I feel there's a bit of balance in the sequel. Elbow isn't as dominant, it's still a strong move, but it's not as dominant. Um, there's a more of a, a chance you'll get hit where in this game it's just it's so overpowered. Always remind us of the, um, the how broken the dragons were in Golden Axe 1, the arcade game. Yeah. I mean, but you don't have them all the time, so you've got the elbow permit in this game. So, mind you, in the NES version, the elbow is broken, but in a different way. It it kills enemies in just four hits. Oh, I know. I, like, it's, it's just best it doesn't do, they've worked it out, they realised it. So, what they've done is to try and offset that a bit. It doesn't give you much experience points. So if you elbow everybody, you'll you'll get to the last level with without all the best moves. Because although elbow, if you remember, elbow rarely works on Willie and Jimmy. Like Jimmy being the final boss of the NES version. Yeah, uh, it's really hard to hit them. They duck nearly every time. So they've realised that, and it's quite a canny little uh, offset. Especially when you think you can just elbow your way through the game, and next thing you know, you hit a brick wall. Like so, I, I like that actually. It'll work on everybody else, but then last two bosses. Yeah, it shows they put some thought into it. Like. Yeah, they realise. I mean, I haven't. They could have. They could have maybe nerfed it completely and took it out, but they probably thought, well, we'll give you it, but there's a risk and reward here, so you can use it, but you might you might not get any further, because it is very difficult. You've got to stick with your, uh, a lot of your more regular moves, and um, of course, there's, a, there's an excellent whirlwind kick, if I remember right, that you get. There's one of the last moves that does a lot of damage and catches yeah. them, but you'll not get that move if you haven't, uh, if you've just stuck to your an elbow. That, that's when you start, you finish the combo with the kick, isn't it? If I remember then, right yeah, there's, a, there's a spin a kick, and then there's the jumping spin kick, and you get that as well, and that does way more damage. So, it's great, like, good move. Damn, it's too early with my head, but... <clears throat> Cheeky shit. A little bit of trivia as well. Um, this character Jeff, obviously the boss at level two, and now basically like a middle and a minor boss enemy. Yeah. Uh, as we know, he's uh, originally uh, well, he, this he's originally Jeff, obviously in this version, but the NES version replaced him with Shintai, didn't it? Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. I Shin, we we've called this character Shintai for years because of the uh, the manual in the computer versions has the artwork of Shintai from the NES game, but. It, it's cut the character's called uh, well the character's called Shintai, but it, it it's well he's not even in every computer version, but the version he's in is clearly meant to be based on Jeff, you know. Yeah. So uh, we've been misnaming him till till about the last decade, which I thought was funny. Oh, get up! Didn't work. Watch out, Mark. <laughs> I was going to try and think of this, but I thought, no, nah, I just ended up getting blown up on the stairs. Ow. Oh. <laughs> That would have been interesting to see if I could get it up there though. Next time. Here we go. Oh, I'm dead. We both died together here. I got caught by your rock. Yeah, there's a lot more uh, throwing weapons in this game than the second one as well. There's not so. many at all in the second game, but I believe there's only one of each. The You've fun got to one use box. Though. On the first game, one crate, sorry, if you want to call it crate instead, you've got one power ball on level two, 
You've got one log on level three. There might be two. Do you want to do any different damage or all that? Uh, I've thing? never given much thought. Actually, I don't know. I know there's a glitch there where if you fall off the edge with the rock, you'll fall over, but the rock disappears as well. Ah, yes, I. Oh, Jeff's going to go away. Oh. Oh, he's still going away. Never mind. <laughs> i to shoot the rock after him, see if it gets in. Let's see if we can get through this with one go again. Oh, I don't, I don't know, like. Stick together. Hold me hard. Oh. Are we going to oh. do it? Oh, oh, oh we did. Hey. We did. Right, let's see if we did it. Oh. Right, dynamite. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, well. It didn't kill him, though. It didn't kill him. Oh, wait, there's uh, much health we've got this time. Oh, I landed in the right place. See what I'm getting? Oh, it's, I've had no choice, I'll go for it. Ah, oh, never mind. Because he would have recovered. Oh, we'll just play tennis and... <sighs> to me, to you. Right. Can you get through? I didn't get hit. Oh, oh I got this through. time. Oh. Phew. Another one. Another one. Might as well bring him with us, eh? And then you look, you just fall off. Oh, you're not like. <laughs> nah, he'll not. Oh, oh. shit. Oh, it's still there, man. Oh. Oh, man. Hey, I don't feel ashamed about elbowing him here. We've got no room to move. Mmm. <laughs> I've always oh. found this bit kind of tough, just with it being, there's quite a bit so going on, oh, and yeah. uh, it's just, it's a fairly thin platform, so you've got to be careful, like, but be bloody careful on here, like. I'm sorry you get any invincibility or anything, either when you're getting back up, you, you just get no, pounded that's, straight away. I mean, that's always been the nature of being an archaic in a sport, but it, and they're not too bad, to be honest, they're not completely, Duck. oh, sorry. never mind, they're not, the, the, it's a little bit more forgiven than it could be if it wanted to be, you know? Because the tent, they might, they, they, if they get you, they'll get you once more maybe and then they'll let you be a bit, so. Well, you, you say that, but uh, when I overclocked it the other day, the Abobos developed a new technique where they were able to catch us as I hit the floor and froze us again. What, you juggled you? Aye, Ooh. pretty much. It was a glitch, yeah, yeah obviously from the overclock. It's never made that. But uh, I've got it in the corner, I'll, I'll try and remember to show you. But it's, um, I'm going to upload it at some point because there's some weird glitches happening in this game when you throw 250% overclock at it. <laughs> the timer goes faster and everything. I don't think I'm going to have a perfect one this time. It's going to be a credit I think needed. Was that your one credit, is it? It's my first credit, yeah. Oh, yeah, but uh, didn't do as well this time, like. Ah, you got one hand. I had one hand last time. <laughs> yeah, but... You've got an excuse. Mm, there is the first, Jeff. Yeah, just, uh, well, we fight three of these, don't we? Three, three all together, these guys, come on. They put a quite good fight now with Willie. Willie really can kill you with one bullet as well. But well, that's you know, all the uh, little ones out of the way, so Willie will be on his way down. Yeah, there he is. Six, he's going off the wall there and he's on the way. Some fantastic Man, little cool. There's a nice little uh, glitch. Oh, I threw him back. I've never seen that. That's something <laughs> you've never seen top, before. Right? Managed to throw him back up the top. I've never met, never caught them that yet. Wish I could replicate that double dragon uh, mega drive glitch. I know. There's no point talking about it unless we can't ever nah. replicate it. Like. Because we can't. We don't we'll ever be able to show it again. No. Nah. Maybe, maybe. Oh, here again, there's the gun for you. You've got to see that. Oh, yeah, lost the life. Air yeah, credit. I'm back with a new lease of life. Willie's not that tough for final boss, really. It's just that he's a coward and he likes to. Uh, Aye, it's when he backs off, you've got to be careful because you, you know he's going to unleash fire on you, open fire on you if he uh, gets a chance. Yeah. And who can blame him? It's a very nice machine gun. I'd use it too if I had it. Oh, 
I'll just let you uh, let you play with Willie. Because I know you like playing with Willies. Willies. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we'll get to get him to pull the gun out the door. Right, I'm can. back up. I can stop head button. Oh, there's one. Put it. Go on, mate. There you go. Yeah, right, yeah. it'll go the final part. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right, you bitch. Well, we've got 30 on the clock this time. Ow. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's so you only need to get the time left. Time make it hard, aye. Yeah. This just might be a bit better. What are you doing? A bit more final this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, just a split second too late. Should we just punch each other? <laughs> Why? <laughs> might, might be a more fun fight. This is fun. I'm hitting you. <laughs> I'm getting you. I'll oh my god, we're out of it. Come on. You'll get your revenge if I get you. Right. At least a bit more final this time. Plus, I haven't lost the block yet. Oh, this is going to be, going to be recorded live forever. Oh, he's come back. Just, oh, I think we should just punch each other. <laughs> Come on in. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was standing here trying to fight like a man. Oh. And you're just all, oh. all, all, all elbows. Oh. So, <laughs> this is what the versus mode's about, in it? The, the versus mode? Uh, versus. Uh, Shh, less said about that, the better yeah. for now. Which is top secret Let's project. Call it right your right revenge. Right. Top secret project. I just wanted to fight like a man. I did. Could be like a man, I know. Oh, I love that. <sighs> I love that end though, it's brilliant. But this is what we're saying, I thought the first game has a much more complete ending than the second game. Oh, just yeah, having the sure. photograph, I think it just doesn't have a... It doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't do it. It feels rushed a bit. It's, I mean, a, it's an it. early arcade game, isn't it? It's, a lot of them tend to have just like a text screen or something, so I guess the photograph was probably more effort than quite a lot of games at that time. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, do one. It's, it's good to see like the end there, you know. But just think, another year and the second one came out. Didn't take long, like did it? Well, it's got a date in the arcade machine in 1988, but it, uh, in a lot of the uh, licensing I see of 1989. To be honest, like so, I'm yeah. not sure. Would say they come. It depends on what version of the licensing. If it's the Jap or American, maybe. But they've always got 1988. But sometimes when there's a couple of months in it, I don't think it makes a big deal. Like nah, nah, I wouldn't have thought so. so. But um. That ties up this one nicely. Upwards and upwards. Yep. Yeah, thank you very much, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. See Bye you for now.